geometrical shapes. Introducing the line plane figure. Starry, see, I have got some colorful marble papers. Let us make some nice craft items from these. Come, let us make a bus. First, take one paper. Fold it into two halves. Now, stick this on another sheet of white paper. Draw two wheels below the body of the bus. You did not understand? Okay, I will show you once again. Take a marble paper and fold it into two parts like this. See Starry, if we unfold this paper, we see a horizontal line. Now fold it and take this folded paper on another sheet of white paper. No, no, Starry. You should not stick it like this. See now, if you unfold this paper, we see a vertical line. We have to stick it in such a way that horizontal fold is seen. Did you understand, Starry? Okay, then you practice it later. Let me show you something interesting now. Let's take a sheet of marble paper. Fold the paper this way. Now, unfold it. The line that we see here is called the horizontal line. Now take a paper and fold it in this way. The line that we see now is called the vertical line. Now fold the paper like this. On unfolding it, we see a line which is not horizontal nor vertical. It is called a slanting line. Starry, see, I have also got a satin ribbon with me. Now I am going to hold this satin ribbon in my hand and stretch it. If I stretch the ribbon and hold it like this, which line is formed? Yes, a horizontal line. Now see, a vertical line is formed. What about this one, Starry? Yes, this is the slanting line. Now, Starry, let us learn to draw these lines on a paper. Hmm, see, we have got here a compass box, an eraser and a book. Using these, let us draw the lines. First, we shall use the compass box. Take the compass box and keep it on the paper. Here, let us first draw the horizontal line. Now keep the compass like this and draw the vertical line. 
Now turn the compass slightly and draw the slanting line. Similarly, we can also draw lines using this eraser and a book. You can try it later, Starry. What happened, Starry? What are you looking for? Oh, this is a scale. Yes, Starry, we can also draw lines using this scale. Shall we see? How a line is drawn using a scale? Which line is drawn here, Starry? Yes, a vertical line. The next one is the horizontal line. And now, let's draw the slanting line. Starry. I have one interesting activity for you now. Here is a grid of squares. On it, a nice drawing has been done. We have another grid of empty squares. Now let's observe the drawing and draw the same figure using a scale and a pencil. See, Starry, we have drawn vertical line, horizontal line and slanting line in this figure. Starry, you try and draw such a figure using a scale and pencil. Starry, look what I have here. There is a Rubik's Cube, a matchbox, a bangle and a paperweight. We shall place these objects on the paper. Let us now trace their edges with a pencil. The shape formed by tracing the edges of a Rubik's Cube is a square. The shape formed by tracing the edges of a matchbox is a rectangle. Which shape is formed by tracing a bangle starry? Yes, a round shape. It is also called a circle. The paperweight forms the shape of a triangle. Starry, the shapes are drawn here. Now name them correctly. Yes, the first shape is a triangle. The second one is a square. The third shape is a circle. The last one is a rectangle. Match the shapes in column A with their names in column B. Which is the first shape, Starry? Yes, it is a rectangle. The second shape is a circle. The third one looks a little different. Can you identify the shape? Yes, it is a triangle. The last shape is a square. Starry, can you name some articles which are of these shapes? 
Yes, a coin has the shape of a circle. Also, a chapati. A blackboard is square in shape. The scale is rectangular in shape. Starry, look around for different articles and observe their shapes.